So in this video, I am going to answer a question that is what is the difference between coding and programming? This has been asked by uh, one of my student that ma'am, what is the difference between coding and programming? And this question was also being asked in one of the interview also. In, sometimes interviewer also asks these type of questions, the basic questions, right? It's not like that you have to deep dive into the difference of coding and programming, right? But you just have the knowledge of the, you know, basic difference between coding and programming right so i am going to tell you the basic difference with some real life example or uh, rather i would say you should understand the difference it's not like that just mug up the definition from google or any book that this is the dif this is coding and this is programming you have to understand actually what is the difference the logic behind these two terms right so that when anyone or sometimes um, when interviewer asks you these type of questions so you can explain with examples right they would appreciate the interviewer would appreciate your answer with real life examples not just the just the definition or the bookish definition right so we generally use these terms interchangeably means for us there is no difference between coding and programming both are same right sometimes we use coding sometimes we use programming right but yes there is a difference between these two terms right so first thing is what see obviously everybody is using some kind of remotes suppose uh, you can say ac remote or tv remote so when you use a tv remote in that case what happens when you have to change the channel you just do what you if you know the you know the numbering of the channel like 311 so just press 3 1 and 1 and that channel would be on your tv or if you just want to increase the volume just the up volume button if you just want to decrease the volume just press the decrease volume button right so this is what this is what programming means that remote has been programmed in such a way that it can accept the human inputs and it can synchronize those inputs with machine outputs with the outputs obviously we want that when we want to increase the volume or when we press the up volume button then the volume of tv should be increased right so that is what a programming but so everybody you can say everybody is using some kind of programming everybody is interacting with some kind of programming every day right but behind that what what happened behind that button that when you press that button then volume would be increased there would be some logic some code right it's not like that coding and programming is only specifically the terms for your c programming or when you write down the code on your laptop that complex code and the c programming c plus plus java and python these kind of programming languages behind that button what can be a code maybe some you know a memory unit may be there or switch can be there or maybe some you know uh, passing of the voltage like 0 and 1 and it, after that passing of that voltage that button is you know working that kind of so behind that thing there is some code there is some logic so that is what coding right and the complete functioning is what that is programming so you can say that programming is a broader term and coding is what coding is just a subset of programming right it's like you can say tree versus forest right so tree is what a subset of forest in forest i have many trees you can relate it something like this so coding is subset of programming fine or you can say that coding is what just translate the set of instructions into codes write down the codes or you can say just translate the set of instructions into a language that computer can understand or you can say machine can understand but programming is not just writing the codes it includes coding plus many more activities like uh, like let us take a simple example um, when you are uh, building any project or suppose any app you are developing any app or you are developing any software right let us take a project you will get it better you are building any project you are uh, you know working on a project in that case what will happen suppose a, a university management system you are making 
so there obviously first of all you have to plan what things you are going to include in that project right the requirements planning then you will design you will write down some algorithms some flow charts right after that according to those specific requirements implementation would be there or coding would be there right so see coding is just a part right and after coding obviously we are going to test compile that implementation we are going to test it we are going to debug it and then we are going to you know deploy it obviously right like suppose uh, i want that when i'm going to add a button when a new student comes register those students would be registered and that entry or the detail of that student would be placed in the database when you are going to fetch any student there would be a button you can fetch the details there would be specific you know uh, that uh, buttons or some functionalities for faculties as well for courses as well for departments as well right so first of all you you will think the outline of that thing the project fine the requirements then you are going to do the coding according to the specific requirements right so the complete project the fully functional product or the project that is what programming deals with and coding deals with you know only a simple part of the project or you can say a simple part of the product right so here for coding what you need to do just the programming language or you can say the structure of the programming language the syntax of the programming language or how to write down the code right in that programming language just that, that's it but for programming what you need to do because programming is broader sense it not it's not just the coding or implementation right you have some for programming that the programmer must have some analytical skills you are going to use some analytical tools also the implementation tools or many kind of tools right and that programmer should have the knowledge of the data structure and algorithm concept he is able to write down the complex algorithms he is able to you know solve the complex problems he is able to think how to solve those problems it's not like just writing the code you are just writing the code and you are a programmer suppose in in your uh, you know subject suppose you have c subject and in the lab you you are supposed to uh, you know ask to you are asked to return a program like uh, the, find out the number is palindrome or not and you have written the code means you are just doing coding it's not programming it's not that you are a programmer now you are just coding but when you are making any project or any app development or software development and when you do all the kind of the things planning designing the requirement analysis and all implementation then testing compiling and all deployment and if you get the desired result that is known as programming right that is a programmer generally do so programmers are more you know you can say that expert than coders so generally you know uh, when uh, the junior you know uh, the coders are considered as you can say junior software developer like this fine so what you can say that the coding is just the ability to understand the syntax and structure of the language just writing down the codes right or you can say processing the you know uh, process of uh, writing the set of instructions into a language that a machine can understand but what programming programming is just it's the ability to translate a thought or an idea into a language to solve a particular problem so you can say that coders are less expert than programmers programmers are you know much more professional than coders so for coding the tools required are you can say a text editor or you can say ide you have to just write down the code right that's it for this the tools required are analyzing tools code generators or you can say modeling tools or you can say the testing frameworks as well as right so i think that's it for the basic difference between coding and programming these are very vague terms you you know no need to worry about that you have to deep dive deep dive into the details of the difference between programming and coding just have the basic knowledge the basic difference what is the basic difference and that's it right so i guess that's it for this video now i am going to see in the next video till then bye bye take care